Yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to mention that I made a few changes to uh, today's email. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you're violating my gender rights. Mm -hmm. As a man, yes, and the father of the five minors named, yes, having court hearings where the individuals that are there are not the employees of the court, yes, and not having the petitioner there, yeah, violates my gender rights as a man. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to mention that Marilyn Van Proyen's gender rights are being violated also, yes, and the rights of my sons, yes, to never have a court employ anyone other than those that are employed mm, to administer the court. Yes. Now, these rights of my sons. Mm, mm, mm. And then there are the rights of Marilyn Van Proyen's six children. Yes. Now, it is a crime for anybody to be an imposter of the court. Yes. For any time for you to have court hearings without reasonable notice and an opportunity to be heard. Yes, you cannot have jurisdiction over the parties, the minors and the subject matter. Yes, without the actual employees of the court being the individuals that were employed to administer the court. Now, um... I wanted you to watch the videos from this morning, yes, mm -hmm. because I talked about the due process rights of students, and then I wanted you to enforce the laws today, yeah, mm -hmm. and then I want Marilyn and my sons to contact me. Mm -hmm. Now, this fraud, right, of saying that somebody received notice when they didn't, oh, oh, oh. The fraud uh, that the notice of the hearing was served on the respondent when it wasn't. Yes. And then the fraud of serving the respondent in the public library. Yes. By an individual that did not have the contractual right to serve the respondent. This is fraudulent. <laughs> now, uh, let's see here. The forgery. Yes. You know, if I am correct. Mm-hmm. And this individual is not the same as this person. Yeah. We have a forgery of the actual signature of a, of a being. Yes. That is not the court commissioner. Mm -hmm. Now you would say, mm -hmm, this is not top secret. Yes. Brent Baston doesn't have a lookalike that appears in court as if it were the actual court commissioner. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but I think there's enough differences in the two signatures. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. That Brent Baston, I'm 80% sure, does have a lookalike. Yes. That is an imposter court commissioner. Yes. That does not have the authority of law to issue court orders. Yes. Now, I'm 100% sure that this individual is an imposter. Oh, oh, oh. And these are forgeries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this, filling this out without it being the actual handwriting of the petitioner. Yes. Technically, it's a forgery, too. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, I know that you wanted to say, well, we just have to enforce it. Mm -hmm. But there's a, a possibility that this handwriting, yes, mm -hmm. could be different than that handwriting. Oh, oh, oh. As if multiple individuals were involved in the filling out of the court forms. Yes. That didn't happen to be the petitioner. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be four, five, or six different forgeries on the same court document. Yes. And um, then there's this treason. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, treason is making war against the United States. Yes. Or giving aid and comfort to those that are not employees of the United States. Yes. So that they can uh, act the part of being the employees of the court when they're not. Yes. And then there's this war against the idea of the enforcement of the requirements of the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, as a father, mm -hmm. an American citizen and a male. Yes, I'm a man. Yes, I have the legal right right now. Espionage. You've been making lookalikes of employees of the government. Yes. 
they've been signing documents where they're not the actual employees. Oh, and um, it's the development of the illegal technology of the making of the lookalike. Mm. Mm-mm. Now, this espionage, phew, mm-hmm. I'm kind of wanting to look at that today because I think it's a real war crime. Oh, for any individual in the employment of this government, yes, to act the part of an employee of the government when they are not the actual employee, yes. And I know you're going to cover all this up. Mm-hmm. Brent didn't get paid yes. to use a lookalike to play the part of a court commissioner. There's no possible way that Brent Bayston, Superior Court, 